Hi guys, welcome to our latest project here in Hadley Wood. I'm going to give you guys a quick tour. I think you're going to enjoy this. So the first thing that I want to point out is this amazing freestanding dresser unit that we made. So you'll see all of the client's lovely glassware is on display. We've done a glazed dresser door so that you can see into the unit. Uh, and it's a lovely contrast between this uh, little green company, French Grey, uh, and this uh, grey oak in the background, the, the carcass. Um, you will notice also that these 30 uh, centimetre thick, uh, sorry, three centimetre thick uh, CRL uh, white Carrara quartz tops. Um, we've got this lovely tongue and groove panel if you want to come and see this back panel here, uh, painted in the secondary colour, which is F&B Oval Room Blue. Uh, and then a really cool feature, so our clients have a lovely dog, it's not here at the moment unfortunately, but perfect little space for the dog that was designed uh, with his dog bed <laughs> perfectly. Uh, lots of storage here uh, and perfect for um, a vase and bits to display. Uh, the next thing I want to point out actually are the, is the um, overhang on the island. So this is a lovely breakfast bar. Uh, so there's a, about a 30 centimetre overhang. Again, we've got this nice um, over and blue tongue and groove panelling all along the back. So it's decorative and makes a feature out of something that otherwise might be a bit plain. Okay. Next, I'll take you through to this area. Uh, so we've got the sink run here. Uh, the client has opted for a KUKA Pro 3 Flex. Again, so Flex pulls out. Uh, and they actually have the cube add-on, which is uh, chilled water, sparkling water, and boiling water. So, I'll show you the boiling here, instant, and you'll hear that aerating again. That is a safety feature to prevent yourself from burning. Um, one of the lovely things that we've added into this kitchen are these uh, glazed uh, wall unit doors, uh, but with ribbed glass. So, sort of baffles the light a bit, so you can't see exactly what's going on in there, but it creates this lovely effect. And also you'll notice guys, there's lots of open areas in this kitchen. So here we've got an uh, open decorative area with glass shelves so as to not clutter it too much. Uh, but you'll see we've got some nice bottles of Laurent Perrier champagne on display. Um, lots of worktop space guys, I'll bring you through. Uh, and this is sort of the main working area of the kitchen. So this island, massive expansive island, big prep space. Uh, one of the things you'll notice very obvious is this column. So this is actually structural to the building. So rather than try and hide it, we incorporated it into the design and made it part of the feature. So the island sort of wraps around this, this column. Uh, and then the client's got this amazing Samsung uh, TV. It's like a, a, a frame TV that can display art when it's off. Um, Obviously, we've got a skylight above the island, so there couldn't be an extractor above. So we've gone for a Bosch uh, downdraft extractor, uh, which is really cool. Touch of a button, extractor pops out, and it means that when you're working on this, uh, again, Bosch induction hob, uh, wipe clean, really easy, and then put the extractor away when it's not in use. Uh, behind me, you'll see the tool stack. Uh, and we've got, uh, again, Bosch Series 8 appliances. So this is a grid, it's quite, quite usual for us. Uh, we'll do two ovens at the bottom, two single ovens, and then we have a microwave and we've got a steam oven. Well, that's the extractor going on, put that off. Uh, and then located very, very close to this is uh, a, a small pantry unit. So perfect for your oil, spices, literally perfectly at hand when you're cooking. Uh, lots of drawers here, uh, again with internal utensil drawers and cutlery and then you've got your deeper drawer uh, which is quite normal for our configuration for pots and pans. Then in the background here we've got this lovely open display area but also this is where the fridges and freezers are held. So we've got two 70-30 fridge freezers but it's sort of broken by this lovely open display area, which I think is really nice. We're making a feature out of this, you know, what's otherwise just a fridge and a freezer. Uh, and then this is the door into the utility room, but here we've got extra storage, uh, full, full height, full depth cupboards, uh, again, working with the, the design of the room or the layout of the room. Uh, so maximum storage, maximum space. Um, so yeah, I think that is pretty much it. Uh, again, you'll notice this tongue and groove panelling coming all the way through. Uh, and again, the stone returning round the beam, around the column, uh, acts as a, as a really nice detail. As I said, it doesn't feel forced. It doesn't feel like we're trying to hide the beam. We're making more of a feature of it. Um, so yeah, that is it, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed this tour and uh, see you at the next one.